Have you ever been watching The Mermaid and thought, do mermaids really exist? Mm -hmm. Well, spoiler alert, mermaids really don't exist. However, mermaid syndrome does. And that is this week's medical mystery explained. Evelyn knew she had a special baby inside, but I don't think she realized how special and unique her baby really was. Normally during the second trimester, an ultrasound is able to look at structures like the organs or the skeletal, the bone structures. However, Evelyn had missed out on this second trimester ultrasound, where they would have seen an image very similar to this, with the two legs joined together. Let's just imagine and go back 500 years ago to a small town of Southampton, England. Here, on a very dark night, with the full moon, a baby was born. But it was a very special baby. The family rejoiced at the sight of this newborn. However, they were a little bit shocked to find that the lower part of the body was very different to what they had expected. In that very small town, suddenly word got around that a mermaid had been born. If you're new to my channel, I try and bring medical mysteries and explain them for you. So if you like that, go ahead and subscribe and hopefully that way you don't miss other medical mysteries. The idea of mermaids actually dates back all the way to Greek mythology when they thought that there was these half human, half fish people uh, living amongst us in the ocean. Fast forward to today where Evelyn was ready to deliver and she delivered without complications a beautiful 37 week baby named Tyler. Now, Tyler did have a little bit of respiratory problems and needed something called CPAP or continuous positive airway pressure. What that is, is basically just a little prongs in the nose that help open up the lungs so that the baby can breathe comfortably and also get some oxygen to all the organs in the body. This was just the beginning of a very long journey. You see, Tyler was born with something called mermaid syndrome or medically serenomalia. Now, the term serenomilia actually comes from ancient Greek language. When broken into two parts, the word sereno actually comes from siren, which actually means enchanting or mermaid, and the other part, milia, actually means limb. Therefore, mermaid limbs. Now, mermaid syndrome is actually something very rare. It occurs in about 1 in 60,000 to 100,000 babies. Now, what we see is that males are three times more common to have this than females and it is a hundred times more prevalent, meaning we see it more in babies that are born as identical twins. Although there is no direct cause for something like this, you can actually see it when the mothers have diabetes during gestation. Now they've also done studies in mice and they have found that there is a gene called SRN that when mutated in these mice, you can actually see the hind legs are actually put together, very similar to what we see in mermaid syndrome in humans. Now, unfortunately, this syndrome actually is fatal. However, there are cases of children living all the way to adulthood. In fact, there is a case of the longest living person, Tiffany Yorks, who lived to be 27 years old. After a successful surgery as a child, she was able to live using crutches and wheelchairs to get around and truly enjoy life up to that age. Now, serenomelia can be actually classified depending on how much of the structure is actually joined together. You can have complete bones, separated bones all the way down to the little you know, toes, and that is classified as one versus actually having completely just one bone at the end, and that is a classification of seven. The goal of surgery is to be able to separate those two structures and create somewhat of limbs that the person can ambulate, obviously with some support if they can. Getting back to Tyler, Tyler was able to get his surgery successfully and now is able to ambulate with the use of crutches. He is five years old and doing very well. Although we focus on the legs, there are other parts that can be involved. For example, the organs of the heart and the lungs and the kidneys, and they can have some difficulty going to the bathroom as well. You know what part isn't affected? The brain. And these kids can actually grow up to be very smart. So is it possible that hundreds of years ago, a baby like this was born and basically somebody created a legend around that? Absolutely. And this may have been the birth of an actual mermaid legend. So next time somebody asks you if mermaids really exist, you can say, no, mermaids don't exist, but mermaid syndrome does. And that way we can bring awareness to the world of this really rare condition. So stay tuned to next week's Medical Mystery, where I'm going to be talking about a genetic defect that I have personally seen, and it's extremely, extremely rare. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for no notification for the next video coming up next week.